blessed day guys and peace be upon you this morning so in this video we're going to learn how to configure dhcp server on a route on a cisco route okay so we're going to use this topology to demonstrate uh the configuration all right okay so i'll open google spreadsheet i'll let you know that today we're doing number five part one uh dcp server on a route okay all right so this sample uh, topology, we are going to create a DCP for IT department and HR department. Okay, you can see here it's IT department with the respective network, HR department with the respective network, right? Okay, so without any further ado, I'll open our notepad to guide us on what to do. All right, so the first step is always to draw uh, the necessary topology, decorate and comment. So this is a very simple topology. Uh, you can see I've, I drew it uh, using 29.11 router and 26.60 switches. And I put uh, three computers in each department, right? And uh, each switch is connecting to the route, right? Okay, so let's go to step two to save time. Configure IP addresses to the router's interfaces. So we're going to configure IP address to this router interface and this router interface. And for us to configure IP address to this interface, we are going to use this network. For us to configure IP address to this interface, we have to use this network, right? And um, this interface, the IP address of this interface will act as the default gateway of IHR department. The same case applies on the other side. The IP address of this interface should act as the default gateway of this department, right? Okay, so let's start. We're going to configure IP address here and here. So the first tip is always to identify the interfaces. You have to identify the interfaces. Just over, put your cursor over that blinking uh, interface. You can see it's gig, uh, gig 00, and this one is gig 01. So gig 00 should take IP address of 1.1 .1 uh, Gig 01 should take 2.1 okay? All right, so let's go here, come to CLI and uh, say no, and enable config T, then interface gig 0 slash 0. It should take the first IP address in this network. 1 and 2, the, sorry, IP add 1 and 2 dot 168 dot uh, 1 dot 1. And the subnet map, don't forget, 2.5. 255.255.0 okay and um, you can see by default the router's interfaces are in shutdown state so we have to turn them up just say no shut and you hit enter that's all exit then we come back to this interface which was interface gig 01 gig 01 okay the first thing we assign the IP address of 2.1 2.1 according to this network very simple and let's turn it up no shut and that's all exit and do right to save the configuration all right so let's go back to our notepad notepad to to do step three which is to create dhcp pools Assign network addresses, default gateway, and DNS address. Guys, for us, we, we remember this uh, class basically is for DSCP server configuration on a route. For us to configure DSCP server, then we have to create what's called DSCP pools. Because from it's from that pool uh, that uh, the host. Uh, the host computers will be able to get their IP addresses. So we're going to create the pools and uh, create the networks in the pool so that uh, the computers in the network can use that pool to extract or to get their IP addresses. Okay. All right. So how do we create? Uh, how do we create pools? So in this topology, we are going to create two pools. One pool for IT department, another pool for HR department. So let's start with the pool for IT department. Very simple. Okay. 
So before you begin uh, this DSCP server configuration on a router, always make sure that you enable that service. Although it's enabled by default, but in some devices, in all devices, in all the devices, maybe it's not enabled. So just make sure that it's enabled. Okay, just write this command service DSCP. And that's all. That's you've enabled that service, DSCP service. Now let's create the pools. So just say IP DSCP pool IT. Give it the name as per the department. Okay, IT adapt pool. One word uh, separated with iPhone, iPhones. Sorry. Okay. All right. And hit enter. Then we are now in IT department pool. So let's assign network remember here we were told that we assign network default gateway and dns so let's assign network we assign this network okay so we just say network to be 102.168.1.0 okay with a separate mask of 255.255.255.0 slash 24 notation and you eat then we go back to our notepad to say uh we assign default gateway and dns so guys here is what brings the changes if you do here wrongly you will want to get the desired uh configuration the default gateway in this case should be the p address of this connecting interface the the interface that is connecting to it department very simple so just say default default route in DSCP, it's normally called default route. It's 192.168.1.1. You can remember it was 1.1. .1, okay. All right. And you hit enter. Then here also, you can see we configure DNS address. In this case, just let's make DNS address to be the same as default route, default gateway. No problem. Okay. So just say DNS. To be one and two dot one six eight dot one dot one and we hit enter and now we are done for it department pool so let's go to hr pool just say ip dsp hr depth pool and we hit enter sorry IP DCP pool. You have to write this command. IP DCP pool. Then you give the, you give the name of the pool. Okay. All right. So let's assign the network for HR. HR was um. HR is a just say network. Uh, it was two. Um. Yes. The network is two dot zero. Okay, the network is 2.0 and the default gateway, just the default router there, just say that just write default and it uh, tab, it will uh, complete the, the, the commands for you, right? Okay, so the default router should be the IP address of this interface, okay? This connecting interface and this interface add IP address of 2.1, very simple. So just say 102.168.2.1 and you hit enter. DNS, as per now, we are just making DNS to look like the default route, okay? All right. So it's um, 102.168.2.1 and you hit enter. Exit. So let's go back. Number four, exclude ranges of IP addresses that should not be assigned dynamically remember in the network we might have some ip addresses excluded because we want to assign them to some networking devices statically and we don't want a dsp server to lease all of them to computers or any host devices so that's why we need it's a good practice to exclude some addresses in 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 every network okay because there might be a need to configure our devices statically okay all right so how do we do that because uh before i do that let's just go to the any device to test dcp remember we've not excluded so dcp will start uh, giving ip address from 1.2 because you can remember 1.1 was taken by this interface so it will start giving from the next one which is 1.2 so if i go to this computer 
come to desktop i come to ap configuration and say dacp just give it some time you see dcp successfully one dot two and the default gateway is just that one and the ns is just the same so one dot two meaning as per now we've not excluded any ip address even if i come back to hr department and do that it will start from one dot two two dot two because it's the first immediate one okay all right so let's exclude and come back again and try to request ip addresses so let's try to exclude First, we exclude for IT department. We just say IP, DACP, excluded, excluded addresses. Excluded address from 192.168.1.12, then space 192.168.1210. So, this means that I want my DCP server to give IT department uh, to IT department computers uh ip addresses from dot 11 1 dot 11 because from 1 to 10 is excluded it should never give up okay the same should apply for um hr department so i'll just change this one to 2 also this 2.1 okay and i hit enter and do right so if i come back here again in the same computer to turn it back to the static and do dcp you see it's starting from dot 11 now because we have excluded the best practice very very important to include the best practice there uh, okay all right okay so uh, even if i go on this side also i come back to static and the acp again it should from 2.11 very very simple guys so uh, basically i believe this video has really helped you know how to configure dacp server on a router you create pools, uh, you assign network address, you assign default router or default gateway, DNS server, and you exclude the range of IP addresses that you don't want that uh, DCP server to assign automatically. So I'll mark that. Uh, okay. So I'll just, in the next class, we're going to do DCP server configuration on layer 3 switch so that we can mark that class as done. So thank you so much, guys. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video, share with friends, and drop a comment below. Thank you so much, and let's see you again in the next class. Bye.